guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. So today's video I've really been looking forward to doing. Um, I found out a little while ago about Elle and Christian, which are two lovely beauty content creators here on YouTube, doing something called the 2017 Makeup Use Up Challenge, or Use Up Makeup Challenge. Um, now they've been doing it for a few years I think but I've only just found out about it recently and I thought it was so good. Um, the idea is to get so many products that you think out of your stash that you believe you can use up or you can hit pan on or you can make a good dent in in the whole of the year. And I thought that's a great idea, especially, you know, I'm usually on a budget, you know. So what better way to budget than to use up what we've got? I know that I've looked through my stash and I've come across pencils and things that are the bottom of my pencil, where I keep my pencils, thinking, oh my goodness, I used to love that one and I loved that one. And these are things I would never have bothered to look for as I not be doing this project. So I'm really, really chuffed to be doing it. I am also feel really privileged to be doing it with such established YouTubers. Um, and I've, I've come on board with them and, and thanks for having me guys because I, I really feel privileged to be doing this with you. Um, now I'll link the channels below. I'll link Elle's channel and Tristan's channel below. And I'll also link the fabulous Facebook page they have. So much support on doing this, guys. This challenge has got so much support behind it. Um, you go on there, there's lots of other creators um, and just Facebook friends and YouTube friends. Of, they're all on there trying to pull, you know, pull each other up and lift each other up and really encourage each other to try and do this challenge. So these are the things that I've picked. I'm going to do my best to use up. Um, I'm going to give it a go, so I'll show you the things now. Now, for, um, let me show you this first. <laughs> I've got this little box, makeup gallery, and I'm going to keep the things in here so that I don't put them back in my drawer and they just get lost again. So I know to keep the Pacific things in here so that on a daily basis I will go to this. I mean, I'm not saying I won't use other makeup. Of course I will. But mainly on a daily basis I will go to this and see what I can use so I can get that, that um, chosen items used up. So there, oh, it's all going in there. So we'll start with primers. I've got two primers. This is the Barry M's. Um, flawless original I've got a little bit left in there can you see how much and I've got practically a full one in there so they're to be used up I started using a spray primer now which I like but I did really like them so I'm not going to put it aside you know I'm going to do my best to use those up now foundations seems I've got a lot but I will use these up because foundations and mascara things I use up more than anything else. Got a little bit in here. That is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Only a little bit. That's vanilla. So that shouldn't take long. I've got W7 Skin Fresh. I would say that's two thirds full. I've got Collections. Illuminating Touch, I would say that's about half full. And I've got W7's Camera Ready, that's a beautiful HD foundation, this is a really nice one. Um, and that is about two thirds full. So the challenge is to use those up. So next, concealers, I've got the W7 Camouflage Palette, which looks like this. Now you can see I've well hit pan on one of them, but I can use the others, although they're not ideal colours for under my eyes, this one's okay. I can use them as an eye base, an eyeshadow base, 
Um, so I don't want to waste all these just because I liked this one. So my, my challenge is to use those up for eye base and so forth. That's that one. And the other one is, this is the collections one. This is the last imperfection. It goes with the collections um, foundation. I don't think I was very keen on this. I can't remember. It must have been stuck at the bottom of the drawer for some reason. But um, I don't think I was keen on it. But what I'm going to do is try and mix it or find a way to get round it that I can use it. Because I know load of, load of you ladies love it. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. Crack on and try and use that up. I've got two powders. Um, and I bought a powder this year that I really love. But I'm not going to get to the end of that, I know. That is um, the... Rimmel's Stay Mat. Um, that was a YouTube made me buy it. Got it because you ladies told me. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. But I'm not going to reach the end of it. Because I only use a little bit here and here. So, But I am going to do my best to use that. Which I will. I know. This is the Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild. And use that up. And this is a powder foundation, which is great for everyday use. This is great. This is Laura Geller's Balance and Brighton. And I've just got that much left. And see, that's it's a pan there. It's like a terracotta tile. So that's my two the two powders. Um, next, I have blushes. And I've got my sleek rose gold, which I will repurchase because I absolutely love it. But I've got got to use that bit up first I'm quite determined to use that first so that's the sleek rose gold which is a dupe for nasalgasm I believe and I love that one and then I've got this one which is shimmering nude and it's a stick I think it's meant to be an actual kind of a bronzer but I use it as a, a blush you know if I'm doing those sort of warm tones it's a really nice blush but being a cream it's not got such a big shelf life so I want to use that up this year I've got two eyeshadows this one which I will hit pan but I will buy again because I love it but I don't want to use this at first you've seen me use this guys this is Maybelline's Melon Melon it's lovely as a base shadow um, and also to Transition, it's a lovely shadow. And this one, this is a pan I want to use up. I've hit pan with that one and that one. Um, it's MYX Adorable Palette. It's not one of the best MYX palettes. Um, it came out, I think they really improved their formula. And this sort of came out before that. But it's not bad and it's certainly not throw awayable. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly can be used so I'm going to find a way these particularly more in the summer find a way to use these up so that's my eyeshadows for my eyebrows I have this pattern I've got a few of these and I've started them all instead of sticking to one and this is the Master Brow Pro Palette by Maybelline so you can see I've made a good dent in them, so I hope to use that up this year. And also, I've got the Techniques Brow Gel. Got a few of these, but this is the oldest one I've got. And it's getting a bit dry, but still using it, so I want to use that up. And then I've got mascaras. I've got I Love Extreme which has only got a little bit left in it. I've got the L'Oreal's Mega Hippie. I've got Full Slash, Max Flex and Full Slash Effect in Navy Blue. And I've got one that I've left in the bathroom. And that <laughs> that's Maybelline's The Rocket in Black. So... I've got a few mascaras. Now, the thing with the mascaras is the challenge. I've done myself with a challenge slightly different. That's going to be used up within the first three months because we all know that mascara doesn't have such a big shelf life, girls, does it? So that's going to be used up in the first three months. 
and then lippy products I have one lipstick this is one that I bought from Avon and it broke it broke off it right at the base the day I got it didn't send it back and I I keep putting it in the drawer, say I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it. So I've got a, um, a lip pencil out to put beside it, so that I, um, lip brush, to so put it beside it, so I'll definitely use it, because it's got to be used with a brush, it just breaks off. But it's a lovely colour, so I'm just being lazy, so I'm going to use that up. And then I have two MYX lip butters. This one is in red velvet, which is quite bright red, which I don't normally do. But if you blot it, it looks like um, that kind of bitten lip, you know, the red bitten lip. So that looks quite nice, really. So I'm going to use that. And the other one is Taramisu. They need to be used up. So that's it, girls. That's everything I've got. I, want, I really want this to work. I've bought a little diary. I'm serious about this. <laughs> I've bought a little diary. And I want to put in there my progress so I can tell you... I'll give you three monthly updates put everything in there how much I've used um, the dates when I finish it up what's left and so forth so all the information will go in there I bought that for the for the calls <laughs> um, so I really hope you enjoyed that I really hope you're following me along this with this and also look at the Facebook page it's lovely girls it is because there's nothing like supporting each other when you're trying to do something you know especially when you're a makeup addict because I'm a total makeup addict and um, you know I, I would just have drawers and drawers of it which is I don't need I don't need um, so if you are a bit of a makeup junkie and you really do need to use some of your older stuff up particularly if you're on a budget um, you know, go along with this, give it a try. Um, go to the Facebook page, which I said I'll link. And, you know, Elle and Christian will help you there. They're great, and all the girls on there are great, and all encourage each other. Honestly, I'm so pleased I'm doing this. And, I, again, I thank the ladies so much for taking me on board, because they opened it to everyone, and I'm really grateful. Um... So keep your eyes on me, see how I go. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it too, guys. So um, that's all for today. And I will see you again on Friday. Have a good week. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of each other.